for your baby. I'm on fire, y'all. I've been out for two weeks. Now I got to do my thug thing in this kitchen, y'all. Know what I'm talking about, baby? Yes! So, right now, cooking with Tilt, finna do this broccoli and cheese casserole. Okay? This is a side dish y'all can take to your family for Thanksgiving, okay? Boom! Trying to tell you. Y'all check out my apron. Check, check, check me out. Holla! Yes, y'all want to um get one of these aprons or shirts made? I got some stuff on it, oh Lord. Holla at me. My niece making my aprons and stuff, y'all. Boom! Let's get into this. So, cut my pot on here. Why? I'm going to dice up some a uh, half a little onion and a garlic coat, a piece of garlic, like one or two garlic coals, okay? Again, this is my broccoli and cheese casserole, baby. Ain't nothing like it. And you can take this, you know how they do the screen bean casserole. You can do your screen bean casserole just like I'm doing this here. Except take out the cheese and instead of broccoli, yeah, do screen beans, okay? But I, I, I'll be making a screen bean casserole soon for you too. I got that too up there. Okay. Had to smash my garlic. Yeah, baby. Smash it and peel it. And again, this is my broccoli and cheese casserole. Y'all start getting them Thanksgiving menus. Ah, right, baby! Yes! We're going to mix this down a little bit, y'all. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. And I normally would saute this in butter. Y'all know what I ain't got no butter. I ain't got no butter. Now you know, but I'm gonna use a little bit of this canola or actually my EVO, EVO. Olive oil, baby. Spray my little pan down there. Cause we're gonna saute this garlic and this onion, okay? And I'm gonna use my my crispy onions too, but I like to put my fresh onions in there too, y'all. Follow along, cooking with Tip and Never Stir Wrong, baby. Y'all know it. Y'all know it, baby. Oh, my God, let go a little bit, because you know we're gonna, we're gonna saute the onion down first. Y'all get this right, Thanksgiving, okay now? Ain't no collard greens right now. I already showed y'all how to do them collards. And the mussels and the, and the collards with the cabbage and stuff. We're going outside the box. We got this broccoli and cheese casserole, y'all, okay? And I'll probably do the spray bean casserole on Sunday. I should have just did it with this here too. But I'm gonna do this right here now. I miss y'all, y'all miss me? Yeah, baby, yeah. Okay, we got that chopped down real good and nice. Put it off in my pan. Y'all hear that? Yeah, baby. Got a little bit more. Okay. That's good right there, right there, right there. Spoon chip. And we just sauteing the onion so far in here. With an 
extra with some extra olive oil. Yes, 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 yes! Y'all know I have fun in this little kitchen child. If you can't have fun, I'm having some fun in the kitchen because this is what I let it do, baby. So I'm going to laugh, I'm a clown, and I'm just going to smile, and I'm going to be happy. I might even do some cartwheels, y'all. But hey, that's just me. So we just start tearing these down a little bit. Just a little more. And some olive oil. And y'all, like I say, my niece Talidra, she just graduated class of 2020, y'all. She's going to graphic and design school. So she, I'm going to support her while she support me. She's going to be doing my aprons, my t-shirts, and whatever else her creative mind get to. So if y'all want to order an apron, right now you can order an apron for $25. You will have to send me a cash out and your address so that we can get one out. Now just because this will look like this, this is just her first rough dry. First rough dry. So she gonna uh, be doing different ones and just probably have different, it might have boom on it. It might say never stir you wrong, but please support y'all. $25 and we'll ship it to get it out to you. Okay, my onions are transparent like I want them, so I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic, y'all. You'll never want to put your garlic in with your um, onions. You don't want your garlic to burn or nothing like that. Okay? All right. You all finna here like that. You all in this pot, girl. Y'all see it? That's what you want to see, okay? Now, to this hill, we're going to start building this casserole, y'all, okay? I got I'm my can. Start right there. You know Okay, it. so y'all, I done cooked down the onions and the garlic, okay? I'm going to add a 10 and a half ounce can of Camel's Cream of Mushroom. Okay, y'all see it? To that, I'm gonna add an eight ounce thing of sour cream. Season to your own what? Taste. I'm gonna add some onion powder. Little black pepper. And a little bit of salt, y'all. I ain't putting no toners in this today, okay? Boom, there it is. Now to this mixture right here. Y'all talking about, man, this, this stuff, whoo. Okay. Add you about a cup of cheese. I got the Kobe Jack shredded cheese, y'all. Add you about a cup. Of how cheesy you want it, but I'm just about a cup. About a cup right now. Okay. Also get your French onions, but we got the uh with this bread. Yes. Yeah. Crunchy is crunchy as long as it's crunchy. Ha ha ha. And about a cup of these too, okay? So a cup of cheese, cup of crunchy onions. Mix this here together. Don't that look good, y'all? And then we're gonna add our fall broccoli to this. I'm gonna add some 
open right here. Call your, call your broccoli, it's okay if it's still got a little ice on it. Don't have them well frozen when you do it, okay? And these is the uh, 12 ounce broccoli. Get you two bites of them. I look like I got three, but that was, the first bite was already open. I previously used, so it wasn't full at all, y'all. Edge broccoli, frozen broccoli, y'all. Mm-hmm. And you mix that up there, right there, right there. Like that, right there, right there. Yes, indeed. Tip and never start you wrong, baby. And just for a little extra creaminess, I'm gonna add a little more sour cream to mine, y'all. Oh, ouch. sour cream y'all okay everybody so now we're gonna mix that up incorporate that up real good now we're gonna take it and put it in the pan. Now I already washed that, okay? Take your broccoli. Mixture. And when you take it to dinner, get your little fancy little glass cookware casserole if you can. Uh, if you don't wanna take a dish and be responsible, bring it back, get old cheap little dollar pan like this here, y'all. Then we're just going to take this here and filter it out like this, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it. Let's get this Thanksgiving holiday meal together, baby. Yeah! Y'all know me. I'm loud, and I'm just me. Then what you do is take some of these crunchy crunches. Put them on top like this right here. When I say that it's on the money and they're gonna love the child, huh? Watch what I say. Y'all will get at me. Y'all will get at me. Okay. So we top them with some of the crunchies, crunchies, onions, and some more cheese, y'all. And then we're gonna put it in the oven and let it bake for about 20, 20 30 minutes, y'all. If that. Yeah, for about 20, 30 minutes. That's all you got to bake it for. And I'm going to bake it with foil on it and then last couple of minutes I'm going to take the foil off, okay? That's all you do for a broccoli casserole, baby. That's all you do. You got to close up for that, 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 yeah. Boom, shaka, laka, laka, laka. So again, bake it for 20 to 30 minutes with foil on it, baby. And it's so quick and simple, that's why you're going to pull out there in the kitchen making this here. But no, 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 no. Cooking with tip ain't gonna never stay wrong. We always do something quick, fast, simple, and to the point, baby. That make it tweak your toes, rub your belly, and have that two pitch. Y'all know it. <laughs> Let's get this in the oven, baby. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So, again, I'll be back at y'all in 20, 30 minutes to check on that casserole, baby. Boom. Ready, set, go, 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 go. Go, go. 
Let me start clearing. Hey y'all, I'm back y'all. And this broccoli and cheese casserole is done, baby. When I tell you it's gonna be that 100% a winner on that Thanksgiving dining room table, booyah! Yes, baby, yes. Here it is, here it is. Y'all see that there? We baked this for 35, 40 minutes, y'all. And I left the foil on. If you wanna brown your top, you can take the foil off and let it cook for another five, 10 minutes after you take the foil off, okay, baby? But yes. We're gonna jump right on in here and try this here out. And if they don't like it, they play too doggone much because I swear they're gonna love this here. Only way they don't like it, they don't eat no broccoli. I think most people eat broccoli. Y'all see that? Yes. Yes, baby. And we're gonna see what this do. Lele, you wanna try this here? Sure. Uh, I'm gonna try it too. Let me just Mm. Mm. Okay, y'all, I'm finna try it. See what it be by. Trying to get all of it. Now you know it's hot now. <laughs> Do it every time. I think that's I blew it enough. What you think? That's on you. Let's see. I think I should have added a little more salt for my own purposes. But I think it's fine the way it is, y'all. It's cheesy. It's cheesy and that broccoli hit right on, baby. Right on. I don't taste this. I might can add some on top. When they crunch down, if they get soft, you just add a little more on top. That's all, baby. I don't taste them, baby. We lit, y'all. We up. I'm like gonna it. close it out. Tell them to keep. <laughs> close it out for y'all, Tina. Y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. It's been real. And we out. Deuces. Boom.